I miss going into Aldi and I miss taking you in there with me and I miss seeing the Aldi finds. This is our first time going to Aldi in probably about five weeks, maybe even six weeks at this point. So let me share with you what I got. So today I'm sharing our four week Aldi haul. Um, this is our first time going to Aldi in probably about five weeks, maybe even six weeks at this point. Um, basically I've been getting most of my groceries from um, Costco. I still go to Costco once a month. Sam's Club grocery pickup and that's it. In between sometimes my mom will do Publix Instacart and we'll get more fruits and stuff that way. But we've been going once a month to Costco, once a month to Sam's and honestly it's been like five or six weeks like I said since we've been at Aldi. To Aldi. I was hesitant about going to Aldi because Aldi is like a smaller store and I didn't know how they were going to handle the social distancing and it's hard. You can't call Aldi to find out what time they were going to open or anything like that. But it, it's been great. I mean, they limit the amount of people that can be in the store, which I didn't know. They make it so that you can only go up one aisle or down one aisle so that, you know, you're not bumping into people. The Aldi's that are closer to me are smaller Aldi's. They're not very large grocery stores. So that's what was making it hesitant to me, for me. So my husband went today with a list. He said it was fine. It wasn't crowded at all. He got there right when they opened and he was able to get in and out. And these are some Aldi staples that I basically always get from Aldi. And I just love them so much and I just can't replace it with like either Costco or Sam's. It's just like an Aldi favorite. I miss going into Aldi and I miss taking you in there with me and I miss seeing the Aldi finds. You know, I meant to tell my husband to look down the Aldi finds out, but you know, what does he know about finding a good Aldi finds? He doesn't get excited like I do. <laughs> so let me share with you what I got. And then I'll also share with you how I'm gonna update my printables with, you know, the new things that I got from Aldi. Okay, so I got my two assistants with me. Hey. Hi. Hi, and we're loading the dishwasher. <laughs> Okay, so let me share with you what we got. Starting over here, I got my Girl Scout cookie dupe. Girl, if you like Girl Scout cookies and you like Samoas, these are it. I think these are um, less than $2 each. I wanna say they're like $1.25 or $45 or something like that. Whereas a box of the Girl Scout cookies are like $4.50. I know you're supporting a cause, but you know they don't sell the Girl Scout cookies all year round, but these are an excellent dupe. They are so, so good. So we got two of those. Then my hubby got the deluxe sandwich cookie. I'm surprised he didn't get the, this is probably all they had because usually he gets the double stuffed Oreo knockoffs and he said that they're really good. So we'll see, we've never tried these. So we'll try those, see how those are. Mm -hmm. Now this is Ava's favorite, the fruit and grain, like neutral grain <laughs> bar knockoff. She loves those. So we got two boxes of those um, yes. for her. And she also likes these strawberry fruit strips. And those are pretty good. They're a little expensive, but they're um, non-GMO. And these are closer to $5, whereas these I think are less than $2 a box. Okay, and so then we got some cabbage, some cream cheese. I love this whipped cream cheese. It is so, so good. Oh, I should have told my husband to get two. I didn't realize he was gonna get so many bagels, but I'm gonna put some in the freezer. So we got cream cheese, we got some strawberries, we got three packs of bagels, we got two everything bagel seasoning. Again, we will put two packs in the freezer and we'll start one pack today. And then one cinnamon raisin. We got a five pound bag of rice. Now the rice at um, Aldi is a good price because usually the five pound bags of jasmine rice at Publix is like six or seven dollars. At Aldi, I believe this is under five dollars. So I think that's a good price. Of course, a box of spaghetti. They have, I love their spaghetti. It's such a huge box compared to like the boxes that you can get from Publix. And this was, I wanna say this is under two dollars as well. I got two things of hot dog buns. I'm gonna put these in the freezer because we have um, hot dogs. We got, Two bags of these wavy potato chips. I love these chips. Two bags of pretzels, two orange juices, two apple juices, some oranges, some limes, because I'm gonna make like a chipotle knockoff dinner. Um, some chipotle rice, some cilantro, some Brussels sprouts, raspberries, bananas. My husband likes soup, so he got himself two cans of soup, one baked potato with cheddar, and then one chicken noodle some cooking spray, four boxes of Jiffy cornbread. These are less than 50 cents each. And then my husband likes his espresso. And then 
I finally got my coffee. I love this coffee so much. I cannot tell you how much I love this coffee. I love it way more than Pike Place because I've been drinking Pike Place Pike Place because I ran out of my Aldi coffee about, I'd say two weeks ago. I There's such a huge difference from the Starbucks Pike Place with this and it is, I just can't explain it. It's so good. So if you, I was really hesitant to try um, Aldi coffee, but you guys were like, try it, get the fair trade um, because it's like single source. The coffee beans are sourced um, better. And so when it's sourced better, y'all, I'm not a coffee a baronista, obviously. <laughs> I'm telling you, just trust me, this coffee is bomb. It is so good. So I like the medium roast, the Guatemala medium roast. My husband got me two bags and then he got himself, he likes the dark roast, the Columbia dark roast. And that's very, he loves this too, but he also likes this. So um, we also got some milk and then I got some Pinot Grigio. This is a wine that I cook with primarily and I'm almost out of my previous bottle. So I told him to pick up some because this is great to add to chicken, uh, sauteed mushrooms, any kind of creamy um, pasta dish it is so good to add to so um this is my cooking wine and i believe that's it yeah that's it all together we spent around 88 dollars that's what my husband said he did not bring the receipt i don't know where the receipt is so he said it was 88 dollars. so 88 dollars. that's not bad because it's double of what i typically do and i typically try to um spend 40 dollars at aldi back pre-rona i would spend forty dollars every week at aldi so this is right spot on pretty much of um how much i would spend with double of the things that i got you know because this like i said i got duplicates of a lot of things because we probably won't go back for another month so this hundred dollar aldi challenge was wonderful and this stuff will last us now you notice i did not get any meats because we are still really stocked really well on the meats because i was getting them from costco and from sam's club and you know of course it comes with big and bigger portions and i still have some ground beef left from aldi that my husband bought last time he went so we're good on meats and so i'm not going to we didn't get any and so again it's double typically i like to get like one pack of ground beef from aldi i just get ground beef from aldi i don't get any chicken from aldi they don't have an organic option for chicken at aldi um anyway but I, their organic ground beef i really like it a lot and so um that's what i typically get from aldi so yeah I'm, I'm happy with this okay so these are my budget printables my grocery budget tracker and meal planning printable set it, the link for it is in the description box and i'm starting to go get back to tracking our what we're spending on groceries because we've spent way more on groceries than we typically do especially when i go to sam's club once a month and costco once a month and aldi once a month for some reason it's adding up to being more than what i typically do obviously because we are not eating out at all like at all so these are also my cash envelopes um i sell these as well the link is in my in the description box and i've been tracking what we're spending and groceries like when we went to sam's club that was 204.72 i've got to put my costco haul in here i forgot to and then i'm gonna put my aldi in here as 88 dollars now i used to just spend cash and that's what really helped me slash my grocery bill in half i went from spending six seven even $800 sometimes to only $400 a month. And it was all because I started tracking using my cat, using cash only. But right now we're not using cash because cash is dirty and we're trying to limit the germs as much as possible. And so I've just been using this uh, cash envelope as my, and this budget sheet as my portable tracker, like I take it with me. And then when I come home in my budgeting printables, I will write down what I spent and then I also, that's a part of the same printable set. You have your monthly meal plan and then also my inventory lists, which is really what saves me from losing my mind when it comes to planning my meals. Um, I have a freezer inventory list and I also have a pantry inventory list where I can list what I have in my pantry, exactly how many I have. And what this does is when I buy it, I mark slash it with a half slash. And then when I use it, I exit out. So it tells me exactly how much meat I have, how many loaves of bread that I have. I actually didn't have any hot dog buns, but now we have more. All of that. It's, it's just really, really helpful to have, especially when you're like, it's like three o'clock and you're wondering what the heck am I going to eat? Let me see what I have in my freezer or let me see what I have in my pantry i haven't filled mine out yet but it's just been really helpful so i'm going to go ahead and put aldi on here and it was 88 dollars i've got to go back and see how much i spent at costco but we're doing pretty well it's the end of the month i've only gone to sam's club aldi 
and Costco. Um, oh, and then I had a Publix run in between there as well. So I'll have to add that in too. <laughs> I know it's been over $400, but again, we don't eat out as much. We just started ordering takeout once a week last week so that has been wonderful so on friday nights we order takeout i get my jamaican food i'm so happy and excited about that but everything else has been you know eating at home and you know honestly at the end of the day i'm still saving because we're not eating it like eating out is what will crush your uh will crush your food budget eating out hands down so that's actually been a blessing in disguise to not have to spend as much on eating out like i said but leave a comment down below and let me know how has your grocery budget changed has it skyrocketed is is it balancing itself out since you're not eating out is it a good thing is it a bad thing leave a comment down below and let me know where you stand um, with that again my printables are linked in the description box as well as my cash envelopes thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet you can tap my picture on the screen and you can also check out my previous video right next to it and all of my social media platforms all listed down below Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.